So this is a site of ours in Kenani. The, the, the ground is slightly sloping, so the engineer has opted to do a column and beam foundation here. There's several advantages to him doing that. One is that there's minimal excavation on the site. Uh, traditionally, if you were to use a traditional foundation, he'd have to put in a, he'd have to dig foundation trenches, put a wall, he'd have to excavate all of the center, he'd have to cut away all the dirt, he would come and backfill with a suitable material, and then, he'd then he would now be able to cast his slab. So by him opting to use this system, it's actually saved him a lot of time. Plus, I mean, the inconvenience now of moving away the material has really helped him. They've opted for our system here because once this floor, once he's done his ground, his columns and beams, our floor will just comes and lies on the top of it. I'll just take you around and show you the the floor it's laid. I mean, they're they're ready for casting of the screed now. You can see that actually they're, they're ready now to do the screed. They've, uh, they've laid the beam and block flooring. Um, what they've done here is they've actually put BRC on top. Now this is not uh, typical for our floors, but it, it, it's also one way of doing it. Normally we would just ask for a, a sand cement screed, but the engineer here has opted for a BRC um, reinforcement. Um, you can see the design of the house. This is a big house. There's a lot of split level floors, sunken lounges, um, a bar area, dining area. It's a big house, this. Um, this obviously is going to go up for a second story. Here's the, the riser for the stairs and then the column starter bars are, are all here. So this house now, once they, once they finish laying, uh, finish with the screed, they'll continue with the walling and we'll be ready to install the next floor hopefully in the next uh, three to four weeks once they're ready in areas where additional reinforcement is required typically for a standard span you'll use a single single beam and a block but in areas where the spans may be longer then we can use a double beam we can use a double beam here to reinforce and to to to, to achieve the correct length that we need in the area our system can span up to about six meters but you know, we'll, that's done with, but we'll obviously need to, your drawings now to design, to get the correct design um, for each floor. Services are very easy when you use our system. Normally, like as it, like you see the BRC now, then the conduits and whatever, whatever in trunking they want to use will just lie on the surface. And once they cast the screed, it'll be set in place. If this was an upper floor and they wanted to put a light socket or, uh, in, in situ, they would just remove a block, put a small piece of shuttering underneath it and then and just cast a small, uh, a small section of concrete to, to seal it. They've cast the ring beam here. The shuttering is still in situ and it's supported underneath. Our floor has been able to be laid on top. Our floor is delivered cured. So what will happen is that once this ring beam is ready and they strike the shuttering, they'll be able now to immediately carry on with the walling once they're ready and they'll be able to carry on with their columns. So our system is going to save them a lot of time in the construction of it. If you were to do this using a conventional cast, what would have had to happen is that you would have spent uh, 10 days putting shuttering underneath. You'd have to shutter the whole floor. You'll have to put the reinforcing bars in. You'll have to put the steel in um, and then you'll come and cast. Now, a floor of this size probably will take two two or two days casting three days casting to do it and then you have to wait for it to cure um, before you can proceed on with uh, works typically on a site like this if you do conventional casting it'll take 28 days for the for the concrete to be cured properly i mean when you use our eco concrete system we've already cured it in the yard it's ready to go you'll save about 28 days per floor using our system as you're not waiting for the curing one of the other advantages of beam and block is the security Beam and block can be stored outside, it's all weather, it can be left outside. The, the, there's no value to somebody stealing it. It's, uh, it's bespoke, it's designed for this building. If you steal it, you, you really have no little, you have really no use for it. So it's the, one of the advantages is that we can just lay it anywhere in the yard and it's safe and it can stay there. That's another advantage, we're not affected by the weather. Well, if it rains, should it rain when you're building, um, 
we you can continue to lay the um, beam and block during during the rainy season with a traditional slab you'll have to wait until the weather improves before you can do any casting <laughs>